We know that in June, four gay men were thrown off the fifth storey of a building in the Syrian city of Deir el-Zur. We know that in August, the 82-year-old guardian of the antiquities of Palmyra, Professor Khalid al-Assad, was beheaded and his headless body was hung from a traffic light. And we know that in recent weeks there has been the discovery of mass graves in Sinjar, one said to contain the bodies of older Yazidi women murdered by Daesh because they were judged too old to be sold for sex. We know they have killed 30 British tourists in Tunisia, 224 Russian holidaymakers on a plane, 178 people in suicide bombings in Beirut, Ankara and Surich, 130 people in Paris, including those young people in the Bataclan, whom Daesh, in trying to justify their bloody slaughter, called them apostates, engaged in prostitution and vice. It, if it had happened here, they could have been our children. Yeah. And we know that they are plotting more attacks. So the question for each of us and for our national security is this, given that we know what they are doing, can we really stand aside and refuse to act fully in our self-defence against those who are planning these attacks?